Hi there, Doug Stewin with IT Creations. This time we have a variant from the usual strain of servers, the 12 bay ASRock 4U 10G Rome 2 slash 2T. Like the name would suggest, it's a 4U server offering support for 10 GPUs with AMD Epic Rome processors, otherwise known as the second generation Epic series processors. Their naming convention is surprisingly simple so far. It also supports the third generation AMD Epic processors, but this system was initially launched prior to third gen CPUs, so a little software update and you're good to go. It's a dual root system designed for applications in AI, AI inference, and training plus high performance computing applications. Let's take a look. We only had this server for about three days, so I will try and give as comprehensive a hardware overview as possible. ASRock Rack Inc. has been around since about 2013. They made an acronym out of their rack part of their name, which just seems so 90s. I mean, not that we needed another acronym for this industry, but here you go. Reliable innovation, advanced technology, consistent quality, knowledgeable professionals. I thought the rack part was more a reference to server rack. Maybe it still is. The ASRock 4U10G Rome 2 slash 2T GPU server is a dual root server meaning you need both processors installed to power all of the GPUs as each processor is in charge of five of the 10 GPUs. With a single root system, all GPUs would be routed through a single CPU with more PCI switching happening. A dual root system does remove some of the latency associated with the need for more PCI switches, but does introduce other factors like the reliance for CPU to CPU communications through AMD's Infinity Fabric. This system has an unusual design on the back of the chassis, so we'll start there. It's not so much what you see as what the top section does. It has four 1600 watt PSUs with three plus one redundancy, I might add. And the port area features dual 10 gigabit ethernet RJ45 ports, a dedicated management port, and the always welcome USB ports all on a separate hinged PSU tray. It's designed to tilt upwards past 90 degrees to give easy access to the 10 double wide GPUs down below. And you can see all the connections for additional power to the GPUs on the power distribution board mounted on the bottom of the tilt-up section. I thought that was kind of cool. Not sure what our integrators thought of that feature. Just below the top tray are five large hot swap fans to cool the GPUs outfitted with status LEDs and are designed to pull warm air out of the case. Looking for a high performance GPU server suitable for AI, AI training and inference, or maybe just computationally accelerated high performance computing? Then check out IT Creations. We have the ASRock 4U 10G Rome 2 slash 2T GPU server and many, many others. We can also custom configure this system to your specifications and save you up to $500 off on a system listed on our site or one that you configure listed at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see more information and visit IT Creations. Back to the review. There is a dedicated server management LAN port on the system both front and back. Oh, and those cables in front that give the system a decidedly Star Trek Borg look allow you to use either the back accessible gigabit ethernet management and 10 gigabit ethernet LAN network ports or route them to the front for easy access. The dedicated MLAN port provides access to the server management utility, which is ASRock server management program suite. Like many AMD based Epic servers, it uses the AST2500 baseboard management controller with intelligent platform management interface or IPMI and DMTF's Redfish API to leverage common internet and web service standards. All of those utilities help administrators monitor system status and enables them to control servers remotely using a standard browser interface. The front of the chassis features 12 3.5 inch hot swap NVMe or SATA storage bays natively. It can also support eight SAS drives, but you will need an eight port HBA RAID card. I will mention there is also a sister system to this one, the 4U 8G Rome 2 slash 2TS that supports only eight GPUs, but up to 24 2.5 inch storage bays. On our chassis, below the drive bays, PCI slot 1 is an OCP 3.0 mezzanine card slot, with PCIe slots 2 and 3 providing a full height half length add on card slot. The PCIe cards are installed on riser card assembly trays that are easily removed from the front of the chassis with two screws. Below that on the right, a slot for an optional LCD module for at chassis management of the system, but that feature is only available on the 8 GPU version with 24 SFF storage bays. Next to that, what ASRock calls an IO shield with the power unit ID button, on off button, system reset button, non maskable interrupt button, and system event button, all with integrated LED lights. To the right of that panel are two 10 gigabit ethernet ports plus a dedicated one gigabit management port. And on the left, four USB type A ports. And here are the board cables again. Let's move on. Popping off the case cover, you can see that just behind the drive trays, 
The system has a server board which is separated from the GPU switchboard by a bank of five hot swap fans with the hinged PSU tray on top. Designed for compute intensive workloads, the 4U 10G Rome 2 2T supports 10 full height, full width double slot GPUs in 10 PCI 4.0 by 16 slots, or up to 20 single slot GPUs using the by 8 slots between the by 16 slots. Two PCI PEX switchboards on either side of the GPU circuit board facilitate GPU to CPU traffic. As a dual root system, half of the GPUs connect to CPU 1 and the other half to CPU 2. This platform is NVIDIA qualified, meaning it has undergone thermal, mechanical, power, and signal integrity qualifications to ensure that the tested GPU is fully functional in the specific server design. The ASRock 4U 10G Rome 2 2T features the Rome 2D32 GM 2T motherboard and connects the CPUs to the PCI switchboard housing the GPUs with GPU to CPU traffic regulated by a pair of PEX PCI switches. It supports not just the A100 40GB and 80GB GPU versions at up to 300 watts each, but also the A10, A30, A40, and the RTX A6000, which are all based on NVIDIA's latest Ampere architecture. It can be outfitted with 10 double wide GPUs, like the A100 80GB at up to 300 watts each, or up to 20 of the single width NVIDIA A10 GPUs, draining only 175 watts of juice per GPU. CPUs supported on this system include the second and third generation AMD Epic Series processors, also AMD's Epic Series with 3D vCache technology, offering up to 768 megabytes of cache, which is about three times more than the standard Epic CPUs offering 256 megabits of cache. The vCache CPUs are designed to support certain workloads like electronics board design, fluid dynamics, and things of that sort that benefit from more data queuing at the processor. Thermal design power is at 280 watts, which leaves the whole range of second and third generation EPIC processors available for installation. Standard and 3DS registered and load reduced memory modules are supported on the system. Our DIMMs are limited to module sizes of up to 64 gigabytes, while LR DIMMs are limited to 256 gigabyte modules. Memory speeds of up to 3200 megatransfers per second are supported. And tucked away underneath the system board, under PCI slots two and three is a single PCI 4.0 by four slot for an M.2 drive. It offers fast, reliable startup for the operating system. Although with only one drive, it is not a redundant feature. As a relatively new entry into the server market, ASRock is clearly producing some high-performance platforms with support for 8 and 10 GPUs in a 4U form factor. They also support the latest third-generation CPUs from AMD and Intel, not to mention AMD's Epic processors with 3D vCache technology. Clearly, ASRock is up to spec on technology, but the support documentation side? A little lean. Still. You get some high quality features on this system with support for those third gen processors, NVMe drives, M.2 drives, and support for the latest NVIDIA GPUs with Ampere architecture. By the way, IT Creations carries this server and many others. If you have any questions about our configuration, post them in the comments section below. If you're looking for other servers or professional workstations, you can use one of the links in the description or one right there to see what IT Creations has to offer. And we do have a lot to offer. Until next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.